All right, let's uh, Rob here again from Kickback Garage. Now, this is a quick little video that I'm going to make. It's going to be uh, in the old uh, Lambert tool time uh, section that I'm, uh, I've got going. And uh, it was a little bit of a request because I wasn't really thinking about filming this. So what I'm going to do in this video is uh, show you how I fit the dreaded Lambert L Speedo cable. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, grab a coffee and uh, I'll see you after the scooter goes past. Whoop! Right lads, we're going to fit the uh, Lambretta Speedo cable today. Now, the first thing I always do is at the end of the outer cable, you have this uh, screwy bit that fits into the uh, Speedo. And I always uh, put a zip tie on here. And the reason for that is uh, it's really, really annoying if this drops down inside your uh, headset. <laughs> Uh, this is a Scootopia cable, I put, I put it about half a centimetre down under there, like that, and just cut the excess away. So that means if that drops down, it's not going to drop all the way down into your fork. Now, uh, this is a Scootopia cable, and quite handily, you can see here, there's a little o-ring here that uh, should retain that, but all the same, going to fit the trusty uh, zip tie there anyway and the first thing I do is check that the outer actually goes through the hole in the fog which is here right on the leading edge there and yes it does so if that's uh, if that's a bit tight you can uh, and, and it's newly painted or something like that then you can uh, put a little bit of a needle file or something like that in there so uh, next job is I thread inner cable uh, the wrong way around through the hole and up the fork like so I'm just gonna balance that on the wheel like so then I take the outer and on this outer you can see the uh, the rubber bit of the wire is uh, stripped at the end there and that's the side that's going to go threaded over the inner. And then I'll thread that up there, drop the outer down, and I'll try and fish it out of the hole. There you go, and it came straight away. Sometimes that can be a pain, but today that wasn't. Look at me. Then I fit the inner the correct way. And when I say the correct way, this little knobbly bit that goes to the speedo. Just keep hold of the inner so you don't push it down into the fork. <laughs> And then what we do is we take the rubber boot that comes with the kit and put that up there. And then we take the screwy bit and thread that over there too. And then you have this little olive. I place the olive here at the end and there are specialized pliers for these but I find that uh, these cheap electrical pliers work fine. Just use the inside there on the biggest one if I can get it in there, there we go. and just squeeze it into place there go <sighs> just make that make sure that that's uh, stuck there then you take your screwy bit 
pull it up to the olive. I should have probably threaded it through there. Oh, right, okay, that's good, it fits. And take it round to the speedo drive. Get the olive to sit there. Obviously, in my usual fashion, I'm making it look hard. <laughs> Just trying to thread that in there. Yep, I'll sort that out later. I can just use a, a pair of pliers or something just to take the take the rest of the threads up. And then you fit your rubber boot. And that's it, job done. Right lads, as promised, I told you this was gonna be a quick one, but I got a request for this. So uh, yeah, I did request, so I did that. And it was so quick that my coffee is still warm. And uh, the next video will be uh, doing other stuff around the uh, TV 175 here. And uh, hopefully we should be able to start it up and get out the garage soon. Right, well, I'll love you and leave you. And I'll uh, see you in the next video, lads. <laughs> Ta-ra! Oh, and buy a t-shirt. <laughs> Bye.